Hello everyone, my name is Desmond. Few episodes ago, I have shared that Epson provides a suite of software catered for various different functions and usage. In today's episode, I will share with all of you a software that is dedicated for our high brightness laser projectors, Epson Professional 2. This software can be easily downloaded from our Epson website and most importantly, it is free. Before you download, do take note of the product compatibility and the minimum PC operating system requirements through our webpage. You may refer to the following URL for more details. Epson Projector Professional 2 software makes it easy for you to manage and set up multiple network Epson High Brightness Laser Projectors. It offers powerful projection features including geometric correction and edge blending. This intuitive software can also automatically find and display all projectors on the network. The software makes adjustment easy too. No need to figure things out using your remote control. For certain models, you can even control the automatic color calibration and auto tiling function using this software. Furthermore, it can also control the built-in camera of some of our high brightness projectors. Unlike competitors, there is no need for an added investment for a separate camera module. Most importantly, it supports wired and wireless networks and it can be easily downloaded for free from Epson. These are the steps that we'll be covering for today. 1. How to start a brand new project. 2. Basic controlling of the projectors via the software. And 3. Advanced operations such as lens control, focus adjustment, and making customized settings on the projector. 4. How to use the edge blending, tiling assist, and color adjustments function. And lastly, saving and exporting all settings. Upon starting the software, click on New Project to start the project. The software will automatically search for projectors that are using the same network. From the list of discovered projectors, each projector panel has the following information and are updated automatically every 30 seconds. Projector name, IP address, projector status. If all of this information is not showing, you can check on Projector Info. You can register the projectors manually by clicking on Add Projector option. If you are doing edge blending, please ensure the projectors on the layout are placed next to each other. Do ensure that the physical setup sequence will have to be of the same as comparing to the layout on the software. From the list of projectors, you can select the ones that you would like to have it grouped to perform a certain function or if it is found in a concentrated area for projection. This makes it easier for management and simultaneously controlling and making use of the camera function for screen matching or auto tiling functions. You can even rename the group 2 for easier recognition. The basic operations such as to power on off, changing of source and shutter can be triggered using the settings option. You can even click on the setting icon to do advanced adjustments such as lens shift, geometric correction, and many more. You can even call out the screen test pattern if you require them during your setup. During the setup process, especially when the projector is mounted high, you will not be able to see the projector LED prompting for issues or error message displayed in the small screen behind or beside the projector. Using the Epson Professional 2, this problem will be solved. From the software, you will be able to see all the status of the projector including the information such as air intake temperature, the source, and warning or error if there is. This is beneficial for complicated installations as you can easily troubleshoot or find issues at one glance. Now that you have gotten a basic understanding of the functions and basic operations, let us try to do edge blending using the software. 
You can use the adjustments on the Edge Blending tab to create a single seamless image from multiple projectors. Before doing that, please ensure that the projector's layout is correctly placed and grouped together. Adjust the range value to overlap the image sites wherever necessary. When you adjust the top, bottom, left, right edge, or start position, or even your range settings, remember to set edge blending to on. These settings can be done for an individual projector. If the images are placed too far apart, you can move the projected image using the Lens Shift function under the Lens Control tab. You can drag and drop the image instead of pressing on the buttons manually. Please adjust until the line guides overlap each other. Once the line guides overlap, you can now use point correction to match the two overlapping projected image under the Geometric Correction tab. In point correction, you can adjust either a multiple or single point. You can select between 3x3, 5x5, 9x9 or 17x17 grid for more precise adjustment. Once you have adjusted your image and you want to ensure that there is colour consistency throughout your projected image, select on the Image tab. Select Basic and choose Screen Matching. This will automatically trigger the inbuilt cameras and make colour uniformity adjustment to ensure consistent image quality. The entire process will take about less than 10 minutes to complete. Do note that these functions only support up to 9 projectors in a group and the lowest brightness projectors in each group should be the master projector. You can refer to the previous episode or use a guide for reference on the requirements and limitations. Besides, certain models that do support Tiling Assist function allows you to do automatic edge blending setup using the inbuilt camera functions. Once the necessary image adjustments has been completed, go to Edge Blending tab, click on Tiling Assist to activate this automatic function. Once completed, an indication will be given to you. Do note that this function currently supports 100 inch, not more than 300 inch, depending on the projector and the blending area should not exceed 45% overlap. You may refer to the user guide for more details. In addition to the auto tiling assist function, some of the selected models also do support geometric correction assist for stacking functions. Stacking is useful especially when you want to achieve higher brightness. Instead of manually adjusting the image and lens position, you can now activate this function using a simple click of a button. However, do note that currently, this function only supports a maximum of 4 units of selected projector models. Once that you have completed all the settings, you can save and export it out so that you can apply similar settings for the same setup again for future projects. With all the recommendations and steps we have shared earlier, I would like to strongly encourage you to make use of this software to help you with your installation and setup process. Thank you.